Ray Cox, race director of the Parish Walk. For anyone that's watching this that doesn't know what the Parish Walk is, can you just tell me a little bit about it? Well, the Parish Walk is a long-standing race walk that's 85 miles right along and it follows around all 17 parish churches of the Isle of Man. Where did it begin? How did it begin? How well, did it start? Well, it started in the early 20th century when it was merely a challenge between neighbours, uh, usually in pubs, of course, saying, oh, I could walk further than you. So it <laughs> was born from that. Now, we can't go any further without talking about a very, very special man that's not going to be around this year to obviously help with the coverage and the organisation of the event. And um, it was great to see that he was honoured at the Isle of Man Sports Awards. And of course, I'm talking about Murray Lambden, a good friend of yours. What's going to happen this year with regards to obviously his presence not being here and the organisation of it? Honestly, he, he left all his organisation absolute. Everything was ready for the parish walk. Everything was written out in detail. So we actually just followed on last year. So we managed, it was emotional not to have him there on the day. Uh, this year, of course, we identified quite early on that that was a huge hole to fill and three new members have come on the committee that are fulfilling the roles that Murray did so admirably. That says an awful lot. Three people have had to come on to, the, to obviously replace Murray Lambden, the one person. It just shows obviously just how much work he did put into this event, doesn't it? So that's why it was particularly gratifying that he got the award on Thursday night. What are you looking forward to most about this year's event then? Oh, I'm looking forward to everything. Uh, first off, a really good, safe event. But after that, I'm looking for Liam Parker retaining his title. Uh, new people coming out of the woods. Could we have a first female winner? Gav Smith, Marketing Communications Manager. Thank you. I got it right. Um, you know, it's great, obviously, that Manx Telecom supports such a brilliant event. I want to talk to you a little bit more about the Community Corporate Challenge today. Mm -hmm. So what's that all about? The Corporate Challenge, Joe, is a task for four people from the same company to get together and see how far can they go. So the winning corporate team will be the one that goes the furthest cumulatively in the fastest time. Is it very competitive? Yeah, it is. And not just between companies, but between members of teams within a company. And that's good. That motivates people in a positive way. And I presume also from your point of view, you want everybody out with their phones doing a little bit of live coverage themselves as well of the event, do you? Yeah, why not? I mean, that's the, that's the beauty for us of the way that technology can play in a role in a, an event like this. People can now, you know, live broadcast to Facebook wherever they are on, on the circuit. And that creates a fantastic experience for those friends, family and, and relatives that are wooing them on to go further. Again, Max Telecom, really proud to be, be title sponsor and really grateful for the support we get. Tracy Leahy, Managing Director of Manvend. Last year, you won the feed station competition Competition, didn't you? Just tell us a little bit about your special feeding station. It was great fun and it's an event in the year that my team really look forward to taking part in. We had um, a live DJ, we had people dressed as fruit, so we had oranges and bananas, we had separate food stations for each category that we were giving out and it was great fun. And I think I remember on social media last year seeing you know your children involved and yes. others employees children yeah. involved as well so it really is a family event isn't it? My children are involved, my husband's involved, my parents have been involved as well so yeah and it's one of those events where my staff bring their children and they love to be involved. So we're working very hard with Beach Buddies to try and reduce plastic on the island and try to encourage alternatives with compostable products. So we have compostable water cups and coffee cups and bin liners. We have a dedicated Parish Walk feed station flyer with all of these products on and um, all my team are happy to talk and answer any questions that people might have. Now you think perhaps if you walk the Parish Walk that you have a really big job to play obviously with it being involved with this event. However, there is one person behind the scenes that is working incredibly hard with timing with Manx Timing Solutions now, Graham Hughes. Graham, you know, you've got a, a massive job now haven't you and I see you at lots of events around the Isle of Man but this one is a big deal to you isn't it? I say it's snowballed is an underest <laughs> underestimate really. How much work goes in before the event to make sure that everything is going to go as it should on the day? Most of the work goes in before the event. I've put probably seven to eighty hours into building the templates for the parish so far. How nervous do you feel ahead of the day to make sure that obviously it's going to be okay because I mean this, do you sleep um, the night before? I believe me I've lost a lot of sleep over the the years we've been doing this but with this platform I lose less than I used to. <laughs> well I think what you do Graham is absolutely incredible and obviously I know it's not just yourself but it's your wife also that works behind the scenes on this as well so, so much, credit Joe. to you both. Um, it is a massive amount of work I don't think anyone other than my family know how much work I put into this 
Um, it's become a, a life's passion. If I'd known in 2006 the way it was going to evolve, I wouldn't have believed it. Well, I know a lot of people are incredibly grateful for the work that you do out there and the very best wishes, obviously, for this year and all that you're doing. That is actually what makes it worthwhile. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, Joe. Thank